Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus uh, 2D. This is tutorial number 23 and in this example we will uh, design and analyze a tangent pile wall for deep excavation using Geo5 and Plexus uh, 2D. So as you can see in uh, this uh, figure it shows a uh, a tangent pile uh, retaining structure after construction so uh, the tangent pile wall is a type of deep excavation retaining structure and it is uh, made of uh, reinforced concrete or uh, reinforced uh, board concrete and uh, they are placed uh, side by side as uh, we know from its name it's called tangent pile wall so uh, there is no overlapping or gapping uh, between uh, two constructive piles this, uh, this type of uh, retaining structure is commonly used in deep excavation like a basement, transportation infrastructure, uh, etc. Uh, also, uh, this uh, type of uh, retaining structure uh, are cost effective and suitable uh, for urban areas when uh, the space constraints and moderate groundwater uh, condition. So uh, the example which we are going to simulate uh, in Plexus uh, 2D uh, are shown in uh, this slide as you can see in here. We have uh, the soil uh, stratigraphy with uh, two soil layer. Uh, at the first 10 meter we have a medium stiff clay and uh, the other uh, or the bottom soil layer we have a stiff clay and also we have a uh, uh, retaining structure which is a uh, tangent pile wall uh, will be uh, constructed in here so uh, the excavation depth will be 8 meter and also we have a nearby uh, surcharge uh, lot which is uh, 20 kilonewton per square meter and uh, the diameter of uh, the board pile is uh, we assume is 1 meter for uh, this uh, example the simulation so uh, first of all we will uh, we have to uh, estimate or calculate the embedded uh, length or penetration depth of this uh, sheet pile uh, to be penetrated into the ground uh, so we will do this as a previous example using uh, geo5 and also we will uh, try to do verification of uh, pile wall cross section using the same software and we will also perform a stability analysis using uh, GU5 and we will also uh, find the safety factor using Plexus 2D and we will compare the safety factor calculated between, between uh, calculated uh, from uh, these two uh, softwares also we will uh, do a deformation analysis in uh, Plexus 2D and see what is uh, the lateral uh, displacement uh, of this retaining structure uh, in uh, factor of safety uh, after so uh, first let me uh, check the deformation uh, in uh, the wall in the last uh, excavation so we can see uh, the, uh, the maximum uh, deformation is about 12 uh, centimeters uh, which is uh, a high so if I click on deformation, uh, lateral uh, displacement, and uh, if I double click, so we can see uh, this is a deformation or displacement, lateral displacement contour for uh, this uh, pile wall and uh, soil stratigraphy. And if I double click on uh, the wall, and we can see We can see the maximum uh, displacement uh, happen at the top of the retaining wall and it is about 12 uh, centimeters and actually it is uh, high uh, so we can also uh, check the bending uh, moment as we can see the uh, maximum bending moment is uh, 222 calculated by plexus also we can check uh, the shear force so uh, as i said uh, before uh, this uh, displacement is high so uh, to decrease uh, the displacement we have to uh, find the solution 
so I think by increasing the embedded uh, length uh, this deformation will not get improved uh, very much so it is uh, better to use uh, a more stronger so bigger cross-sectional area uh, and uh, reanalyze again and see whether uh, this lateral displacement is improved or not